the very first thing that you need to know is kinetic theories of matter. The kinetic theory of matter is used to explain the state of matter in solid, liquids, and gas. Okay, in exams, they will ask you to explain something by using kinetic theories of matter. For example, they will ask you explain why the temperature increase by using kinetic theories of matter. Means that you need to know what is stated in kinetic theories of matter. If you don't know, then you cannot use kinetic theories of matter to explain something, right? So you need to know the four statements or four assumptions in kinetic theories of matter. Uh, I will tell you which one is important, which one is not important. Uh, some of the assumptions may not be important, okay? And the first assumption is uh, the gas consists of very small particles, each of which has a mass. So inside a gas or inside any matter, I think it should be the matter, okay? The matter because uh, it's not only gas. Uh. Uh, let's change this. This one should be the matter. So the matter consists of very small particles, each, uh, each of which, which has mass. The first assumptions eh? and uh, the second assumptions these molecules or the particles eh? particles are in constant random motion now this is important okay means that the particles keep on moving the particles in solid liquids or gas eh? it keep on moving and as it move in a random directions which is uh, random means it's uh, unpredictable. It cannot predict uh, which direction it moves. So it moves in a constant random motions. And uh, since they keep on moving, so they may collide with each other and they can also collide with the container. This is for uh, liquid and gas. Uh, okay, liquid and gas, we can put it into the container. So this particle can collide with the container. So they collide with each other, they collide with the container. So that is the second assumptions. Okay, the third assumptions, uh, this is not important actually. Okay, we seldom use this to explain something. Eh? Okay, in SPM, uh, there are forces of attractions between particles. Uh, these attraction forces will increase as the distance uh, decrease. It means that when they get closer, the the force of attractions will increase. Eh? But anyway, this is not important. So the fourth assumptions. Okay. This is the most important, eh? most important, and you must memorize it because most of the time we are going to use this to explain uh, the change of the state. The average kinetic energies of the gas particles depends only on the temperature. Average kinetic energy depends on the temperature. Kinetic energy is the movement, how fast the particle move. Okay. Uh, it depends on the temperature. The higher the temperature, the higher the kinetic energies of the particles. Okay. We will use this to explain most of the phenomena that uh, involve the change of the matter. Okay, so. Temperature are related to the average kinetic energy. Okay, so this is a typo here. It should be GE. Yeah? GE. Okay. Uh, if a substance is heated, means the temperature increase, right? The temperature increase, the kinetic energies of the particles will increase. So this is average kinetic energy. Yeah? Okay, and the temperature will increase. So higher kinetic energy of the particles, higher temperature. And then, so if the substance is cooled, then, then the kinetic energies of the particles will decrease and therefore the temperature will decrease. And that is uh, the relationship between the temperature and the average kinetic energy. Yeah? Okay. 